take off my glasses to make sure everything is in frame and we going blind we are going blind because you know what i am lazy to put on my contacts so let's get it e. what's up guys it's been a while i'm not gonna say a long time but it's definitely been a while uh, i had some work related stuff i had to do personal stuff i had to handle but we are here to make the video so Today, I get to show you guys my recent pickups from my LA trip and random shopping throughout my last video to like today or today's video, I guess you could say. Let's get into the recent pickups. What's up guys, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mark K. Yab Yab. I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything related to men's fashion, literally from sneakers to thrifting to new fashion trends. Literally anything and everything that makes you look good so y'all can feel good. So if you're into any of that, make sure you guys please like, comment, and subscribe. And I need a huge, huge favor. If we can get this channel up to a thousand subscribers, I'm here to build community and I'm here to help out all the short kings out there. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, let's just get into the video. I recently made a trip to LA. If you guys did not know that, you guys are definitely not following the gram. Make sure you guys follow the gram at Styles by MRC to show more behind the scenes, more updates to see what I'm doing uh, during my everyday life. But yeah, I made a trip to LA. Me and my girlfriend went thrifting um, and we spent our anniversary there. After that, um, I decided that I wouldn't really shop unless I found something that I was really really interested in and unfortunately I found a lot of things that I'm really really interested in so but nonetheless let's jump right into item number one item number one is from a thrift shop in LA called Wasteland um, they have one here in the Bay Area as well and they carry much more older designer pieces um, and obviously more thrifted, curated uh, vintage pieces as well. And I'm super stoked about this shirt because one, guys, band tees are super expensive. Like I've literally seen like a hip hop shirt or like, you know, your regular R&B shirts that cost like $200. And I thought to myself, you know, like why do I want to spend hundreds of dollars on a vintage shirt despite the sizing and the quality and you know, the quote unquote vintage term um but why do i want to spend hundreds of dollars when i could actually like spend that on something else or maybe even save that for a piece that i actually want but nonetheless this is of the goat leonardo dicaprio it's basically just a white shirt with an image of the goat leonardo dicaprio and how i know it's vintage is it is actually single stitch i don't know if you guys can see that but it's single stitch from the bottom. Um, also, the material is actually pretty thin, I'm not gonna lie. The tag is actually from a brand or company called New Frontier, take time or take your time, size medium. Um, I couldn't find any other tags that will depict or even tell you like what year the shirt is from, but you know, your boy has to get it because you know, your boy loves doing videos. And it's of the GOAT Leonardo DiCaprio. I was super stoked about this shirt because I feel like a lot of vintage shirts are rising up and to find one of someone who's relevant and that you're really into and it doesn't cost like an arm and leg or maybe even an arm is like super, super exciting. Yeah guys, this shirt is $28. I don't know if you guys can see that. Your boy still has a tag, but 28 freaking dollars guys from Wasteland and yeah. Nonetheless, um, the fitting is actually a little bit tight, but I'm confident that since I am losing weight and I'm confident that the shirt's actually gonna fit much more nicely. Um, it is tight around like the chest area and the arms for sure, but you know, I cannot complain with the price and to actually have a single stitch vintage shirt is something that I can kind of show off or flex in. So other than that, Let's move on to the next item. All right guys, so the next item I actually picked up from a very great 
vintage consignment store. I highly, highly recommend checking that place out. Like I literally would love that place to be here in the Bay Area so I could shop there literally every single week or even every single paycheck. The shop I'm talking about is called Jet Rag and it basically has like a whole plethora of like vintage items. I'm talking about literally vintage shirts, a lot of workwear items, a lot of vintage jackets, and I can't really explain how cool the shop is, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of YouTube videos or even looking at the Yelp page on how great of a curation they have within their store. And I was super stoked when I found this piece because it obviously fits me. Being a shorter guy, it's hard to have a great fitting jacket. And not to mention the fact that it didn't really cost me a lot of money. And third of all is I'm really digging the FFA jacket designs. It's kind of similar to like a college jacket or even dare I say a varsity jacket, right? And what I have here guys is a BSA jacket, maybe kind of similar to an FFA jacket or a college jacket. And it does have similarities to a collared varsity jacket but this one's actually much more lighter. So super stoked because it is very minimal, but it's vintage. BSA stands for Boy Scouts of America. And according to the tag, which I'm trying to pull out right now, yeah, it says Boy Scouts of America, official jacket. The jacket's made out of 85% wool, 15% nylon. So it does have like two front pockets, um, where you can, I don't know, store small items. In the back, you do have like this pouch. Very, very minimal, but your boy likes it, right? 113, Bayport, MN, BSA. And then you have like this lettering that circles around the actual logo that just says brave, clean, reverent, trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, and thrifty. I really, really like this jacket. And I'm looking to incorporate this much more into literally all my outfits because I'm super stoked that I found something as minimal and something that fits me. The only thing I wish was different from when I bought this jacket is I wish the length was a little bit shorter so it's much more boxy, but I really enjoy the fitting of this jacket because it does have like this, not oversized look, but boxy look if I were to just trim the bottom part of the jacket, which I potentially can. And believe it or not, what really hyped me up was the fact that this jacket actually cost $42 from Jet Rag. So I initially went there so I can buy a varsity jacket, didn't have any, but your boy came up on this BSA wool jacket. Other than that, let's just move on to the next item. All right guys, and my third final pickup from LA, I'm super stoked about this because I've been on the edge of buying this pant primarily because it's freaking expensive on Amazon. When I was in LA, I found a close store that was literally like 10 minutes away from the hotel that I was staying at. And I was like, dude, we have to go here. Like I have to get this pant in person. So nonetheless, your boy got the Wrangler Rancher dress jean pants and guys, I am very, very impressed with this pant. And the reason why, and believe it or not, I've been on the edge of buying a more flared style pant, primarily because I'm a shorter guy. You know, last thing I want is to just look, I guess you say shorter, when I'm wearing a much more like wider fit pant. But to my surprise, I feel like it actually elongates my body primarily because of the flared part. So yeah guys, um, this pant was actually like 50 to 60 bucks in person. I bought it from a store called Boot Barn. Um, or I think it's in Orange, California, which is like 10 minutes away from Anaheim. But yeah guys, Wrangler Rancher. Um, material is super, super soft. It actually isn't necessarily a, a jean. It's literally like a dress pant with a very, very small, like heavier material. 
but yeah guys i mean i really really like this pant flare pants it's affordable um and i believe it is also stretchy as well i don't know if you guys can tell but it does have like this spandex material and i also love the fact that this actually has like a pleat so it does have like that more dressy vibe, which is something I'm all for, to be honest with you. For me being older, I am slowly starting to get into more dressy shoes, derbies, loafers, and boots, as you guys can see. But I am really enjoying the flared look to kind of slender my legs and make my body like elongated. Um, the only gripe that I have about this pant, believe it or not, is that it runs freaking small guys like i do not i cannot describe how freaking tight it is around my thigh area if you're like me and if you have thick thighs or if you're just like working out the thigh area of this pant is very very tight so sizing that i got is actually a 36 by 29 when originally i should be a 34 by 29 Lengthwise, uh, for me being 5'5", five five, I wish it was a 28 or I at least wish they had a 28 but 29 is the smallest length, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah guys, I went up two sizes for the thigh area. Like I'm definitely at 33, they didn't have a 35 so I was like, oh darn, let me just get a 36 by 29. And although I did go up in size, the flare tends to be a little bit wider, I remember comparing the two when I was down in LA and in the fitting room and it wasn't by much though I'd like to say maybe it was like a fourth or an eighth of an inch from the 34 by 29 and I'm talking about in regards to the flaring or bottom part of the pants I honestly see myself wearing this um, more often and especially next year as the new seasons roll out but nonetheless, let's move on to the next items. All right guys, so the next items that I picked up, which is a lot of items, are actually bucket hats. Bucket hats are in, and it's been so hard for me to find these bucket hats, primarily because it has like a weird shape, or they just never have my size, or it's just like, it's so hard to find the perfect bucket hat. And I know it's fall and you know you'll probably see me wearing beanies more as opposed to bucket hats but nonetheless I am really into bucket hats and I'm glad they came back. I feel like it was like three four years ago when bucket hats were in and they got out of style and they came back again which is pretty dang fast for like that fashion cycle right but yeah uh, I guess the first three bucket hats that I picked up are from H&M. Literally guys, I was super stoked because these are affordable bucket hats and, and the reason why I went cheaper on the bucket hats is because with the fact that fashion tends to die pretty fast or fashion trends tend to die pretty fast, uh, I didn't want to spend a lot of money for a piece that I'm probably not going to wear in the near future, you know? Like for me, I am much more into like that 70s, dapper wear but i also like to wear street slash casual wear as well so to be able to switch styles whenever i want i love to have that versatility yeah guys h&m bucket hat dude this is like 10 bucks and i literally got the three main colors like green and then you got like your tan and you got your black right so 30 dollars in total and i'm really really digging it because it's like for it being affordable like it has that perfect fitting, you know? Like usually when I come across bucket hats, the top part of the bucket hat or the actual bucket is so tall that it kind of makes you look like you have like a spaceship hat. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the lengthwise is just, it just doesn't sit right. And I feel like bucket hats should have a much more lower profile around the bucket area. But nonetheless, I mean, H&M, 10 bucks for it to be a trend and I don't know if this is gonna die next year or two years from now I'm not gonna spend hundreds of dollars on like a nice capital borrow hat if I'm not gonna be wearing that for years to come H&M you can never go wrong with fast fashion and uh, yeah guys let's move on to the next item now an additional bucket hat that I got is actually from Ross believe it or not um, I was kind of like on edge of whether or not I should get this hat 
but I didn't have this color and I honestly like going outdoors so I was just like why the heck not so I got this buck cream bucket hat from Ross for 13 bucks from a brand called Avalanche but I don't know if you guys can see but there was actually a logo right here but your boy ended up just ripping it off and it just looks much more casual in a sense it does have that string which I'm not like a big fan of but nonetheless I like to have that option of wearing street inspired fashion items and also having that practicality of like hey you know if I do go hiking with family and friends I can just pop this on and your boy looks fresh and yeah I mean there's nothing else for me to say about this bucket hat it's literally kind of similar to the H&M one great fitting your boys digging this like uh, tactical like strap um, but nonetheless, let's just move on to the last item. And this last item that I got is from Zara. And they are this thick, lugged Chelsea boot. And I know these chunky sold boots are kind of like a trend right now. But I, you know, I decided like, hey, why not? You know, I, I need to upgrade or even have a much more variety when it comes to like my boot game. And although I am still exploring my boot options, uh, you know, I was like, hey, you know, let's just try this oversized, like, chunky sole boot. Let's try to find, like, an affordable one so that way we're not breaking the bank. And, and maybe if I do decide to get a different boot or a similar boot, I can just invest my money into, um, I guess you say, the much more expensive designer pieces so that way I can have it for years to come. Now I wasn't going for like the Prada, you know, chunky sole boots, but just something very minimal, you know? And, and believe it or not, I'm actually digging my H&M Chelsea boots I got years ago and I still wear it and it still holds up guys. Although my feet are starting to hurt when I'm wearing it, but the fact that I was able to get a few years out of it and I'm really liking the Chelsea boot, now I have the peace of mind of like, hey, you know, I really like this Chelsea boot. I can wear this with different outfits. When this breaks, I'm definitely gonna invest my money into a much more designer piece where I can wear that for years to come. Material is smooth leather, and I'm gonna be fairly honest with you guys. I got a size too big, and I'm, it's a bit too late for me to return it. The size I got is a 41. And I believe that translates to a size 8. Now I tried the size 40 since they only have full sizes, but it was too tight. So it's either struggling between getting a bigger size or a smaller size, so I ended up getting a bigger size. And now, although it does suck, I can only wear this with select pants because since it is a bigger shoe on me, it looks like I'm starting to have clown feet. And it kind of gave me the experience of like how it feels to have chunky sold boots or even chunky sold shoes, right? And this, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, is a bit hard to walk just because I'm not used to that chunky sold shoe. But nonetheless, I mean, it's a great experience. I can mess around with different styles and how I can style this boot. So honestly, on a scale from one to 10, your boy is like an eight, satisfied with this boot. If you are looking for a chunky sole boot, I would 100% say, you know, look somewhere else because this shoe is a bit uncomfortable. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little small pickup video um, haul. Um, I do have a lot more videos lined up and I'm slowly starting to get back into the groove of making videos again. Uh, the last few weeks have been pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. But nonetheless, let me know what items you'd like me to go more in depth with, whether it's having that chunky sold Zara shoe or maybe even that flare jean for short guys. So let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys please like, comment, subscribe. Follow the gram at styles by MRC. And we are out. Peace.